All right, guys. So I'm gonna pose a question, and this question is, I, you know, I I want this to be a little bit interactive, but I, I, cause I want your opinion. But I'm going to lay out this scenario, and you let me know if I'm wrong, <laughs> because I'm open to being wrong. I'm open to being off. But basically, I was having a conversation, and in this conversation, someone brought up a scenario, right? And in this scenario, we have a husband and a wife. And the husband, the husband, he was a dreamer. The husband had these business aspirations that never went anywhere, right? He would take money, invest them, throw, throw money in, and put that money into, into his different business ventures. And none, none of them were really paying out, right? Okay, so eventually, this man. Uh, th well, this man has a wife. Eventually, this man comes to the wife with another business idea. And in that business idea, the 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 man wants to take basically the, the last of their money and their life savings and take it and invest in this business plan, right? And what happened was, long story short, the one like the wife, she she said, no, she said, you can't do this. She can't do this, you know, and. Long story short, long story short, she ended up leaving this man. She left him because. She, you know, because she just was not going to was not going to die broke, was not going to, you know, just. Yeah, and it's just that story. It's just that essential, right? And I was thinking, because the person was using this to illustrate a point, but what, what I'm bringing to you is the idea that the woman was absolutely 100% in the wrong. And the reason why I'm saying that it's not because this man has some a genius business idea. It's not because he had a proven track record of being successful in business or failing up, as they say. It's not, it's not any of that. Because it, let's just be honest. None of that really matters. None of that really matters. The, the, the key takeaway and what really blew me is the fact that people would encourage and believe that what this woman did is actually the right thing to do, when in reality, it's completely wrong. It's wrong. Where, let me know, where in your wedding vows does it say, oh, if you make bad financial decisions? Where in your wedding vows does it say, oh, well, if you're not that responsible with money? Where in the wedding vows does it say, you know, you know what I mean? This is we have people, we have people in these positions, whether they're in churches, whether they're uh entertainers, whether all these different people in black culture that will support a woman leaving her husband because he's trying to be something more. Maybe he's failing, but he's trying, and that isn't enough for him. Maybe he's not content with just being mediocre, right? And that in itself would be justification for women to break their vows, for women to leave. I'm not talking about women that pick bombs and then, you know what I mean? Because let's just be honest. You, if you knew that he was irresponsible and he did reckless business decisions, he probably did it before you got married. You probably knew that before you got married to him. In the in, where does it say that just because you pick somebody who is bad with money that the vows say till death do us part, sickness and in health do better or for worse? Being broke is worse. I don't understand it. I don't understand what it is, and I apologize for my voice. I'm sorry, but uh, look. What is it? Why is it? 
that we have a culture. And then you got these simps like Steve Harvey and all these dildos that'll get up here and, and, and simp for women. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Just because now, nah, now, and then you have another extreme. You got Umar Johnson. Now, just because somebody like Umar Johnson thinks that women should be supporting men through that, financially investing in men, I'm not saying that either. We have two extremes that are wrong. You shouldn't leave a man because he wants to be more, and you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be invest necessarily. A man shouldn't necessarily want you to be investing and pouring in him like that financially. Two things can be true. Both of them can be wrong. The truth is there has to be some kind of balance. But when you got these people that are condoning divorce or they're okay with promoting divorce because a person makes bad financial decisions or because a person doesn't live up to expectations or because they just, you know what I mean? All these different reasons. When you look at the black community, this is why the black community is trash. This is why you're losing. This is why you don't have a family structure. This is why modern women don't have a sense of duty. This is why they turn on traditional women who do. This is why traditional women get called pick me's because they're loyal to their men. The truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, you want my answer? If you pick a man and you guys go broke because he's chasing business ventures, you're supposed to ride that wave with him. 100%. Chances are he wasn't nothing when you met him. So guess what? If you if he wasn't nothing when you met him and he's trying to be more and he still ends up being nothing, you didn't lose anything. Y'all people too okay excusing just this, this egregious behavior and this egregious mindsets. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. It's no way. It's no way. No. People say, oh, what if I marry someone who's not a good decision maker? Then why'd you marry him? Why'd you marry him if you're not confident in his decisions? Do you know what a husband is? A husband's supposed to lead. If you don't trust his leadership, then you the fool. And you deserve, and you need to follow him because that's your role. Otherwise, guess what? You're out of order. That's whack, man. I'm always going to encourage men to try to be better. I'm never going to encourage men to be content with being less than. But at the same time, guess what? You, you, you're you, not going to get no sympathy from me or no appreciation or approval because you want to leave a man that's trying to be more and willing to risk it all. You people are shameless. That's the truth of the matter. You people in the black community are shameless. Because that's the lifestyle that you promote. That's the beliefs and that's the principles that you promote. That's why Umar can get up there and say, oh, well, you know, the white woman, she will invest in, uh, she'll invest in this, she'll invest in that. Because they don't have those stupid rules in other cultures. The truth of the matter is, you wrong. <laughs> you wrong. You supposed to be following under him. If you marry a bad decision maker, guess what? You got to ride the bad decision.
tired of this, man. It's stupid. 